hello guys welcome once again in this video I will show you how to install and create your first Visual C++ Windows form application so first of all if you don't have Visual C++ you can download it for free from Microsoft website so what you need to do is go to your browser and just write Visual C++ Express and the first link comes is Visual Studio 2010 I know this is an older version there is a new version available which is called 2012 but this does not have Windows form application this have Windows form application but you need to install and uh, do some setting in order to uh, create windows form application with visual studio 2012 and visual studio 2010 express by default have windows form application for visual c++ so i will click visual studio 2010 and this will guide me to the Microsoft website what I need to do is I will go to the download section and I will go below below and here you can see Visual Studio 2010 Express you can download Visual C++ 2010 Express edition from here and installation is just few button clicks so I will not show you how to do that by the way I have Visual Studio installed in my computer so I don't need to install this Express ed Edition but if you don't have the license then it's um, good to install this and then start learning Visual C++ <coughs> so that's how you can download visual c++ and then when you start your first visual c++ uh, environment it will look like this so you will first go to this file section and go to new project and here you will click visual c++ yes and you can create many type of application with visual c++ like win console application and quite a few other application but what we are interested in is this windows form application which is a user interface application so you can you will make a very good graphical user interface with the help of this windows form application and the advantage of this c++ is it's very fast faster than java i can say that so what i will do is i will just give it a name uh, what I will give first app I have given it the name and if you want to save your project to some other location then you can browse the location and then select and press ok and make sure this create directory for solution is checked so it will create a directory for your project and click ok and it will create a new window form application for visual c++ to you it's 
taking time and slowly it will create so yes it has created us a new fresh windows form application so when you first start your application you will be presented this form and you have all these uh, things in your program so first what you need to do is you need to have a toolbar in order to create some logical user interface so if you see here you can find a toolbox which have many components which we can drag and drop into our form and we can make them functional by our, our code so for example I want to pick and place a button here and second I want to pick and place a text box here okay and you can change the property of this button and text box by this properties tab by default you can find this property tab here but I don't like it here I like it at this place the property tab so I will place it here and so for example you click this text box it will show you this that the name of the text box is this you can change your text box name so for example I will name it as message text and press enter and I want to change this also so I will click this and I will go to the text here this one and I will change the text of this button and I will make it ok and once you press enter you can see here ok is appeared on your button so once you're done with this you need to know that how to run this program so this green button is to debug and run the program so just go and click this green button and it will ask to build the program because any changes when you make in your program you need to build your C++ program if you have programmed in C++ so it asks for that and just press yes and it will build the program for you and if you don't have any errors it will run the form application for you so this is the run form and you can click this button or enter any text in this text box but of course these this button and this text box is is not functional yet that we will see in the next video <coughs> sorry so 
you need to know these things that you need to have toolbox here and property tab here these are the two most important aspect of this windows c++ from application and when you provide any functionality to your form you just need to double click this button for example and it will guide us to the code for programming and that I will show you from the next video so I hope you have liked this first video and please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now